What's going on YouTube and welcome to PCP Savage. In this episode we're gonna talk about adjusting reloading bar and making it correct length. Why is reloading bar important and why does it need to be adjusted? Well, could have come with incorrect adjustment from the factory, from the FX or uh, maybe you have a used gun and previously somebody messed with it and it's not adjusted correctly. Um, this issue was brought up to me by one of my subscribers. Thank you for that email and pointing it out. Um, and I'm going to quickly explain you why you need to adjust it and why is it so uh, critical for it to be a correct size. And we're going to take it, uh, get to it, adjust it. I'm going to tell you what it needs to be, how it needs to be adjusted. So the reloading bar is responsible for your uh, pellet or slug um, probe going into the port. Okay. And by not ha in the in the perfect world, the hole on your um, probe should line up with the hole on your port. So if the the, the um, reloading bar is adjusted correctly, when you insert when you load the gun in the load position, if it's not adjusted correctly, it can go in a little further. So you can see that the hole is not um, lining up. Okay, I hope you got me. Okay, so let, let, let's get to it. Let's adjust it. I'll show you how. And um, we're going to take care of this right now. Listen, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, uh, click the subscribe button. It costs you nothing. Um, but it helps me a lot. I would also appreciate if you guys can uh, like and comment on this video. Thank you to all of you who subscribed and supporting me with your comments and good useful information thank you so much all right just like that and the backbone plate or the guide plate comes off okay all right so the reloading bar is this guy right here it's uh, critical for this length from here to here to be exactly 210 millimeter or 21 centimeters so we're gonna get a ruler right now and from looking at it, it is a little bit longer. Uh, let me put my glasses on. Boy, so it's about two millimeters longer, okay? So that means I need to screw this in. Looks like this is uh, the reverse thread, so I have to screw this. Looks like I'm unscrewing this part, but it's actually shorting in, shorting in the distance. And now it's 21 millimeter right here. If you measure it right here, it's exactly 21 millimeter, uh, 21 centimeter, 210 millimeter. Okay, so it took about three full turns. It seems like you're unscrewing this in, but because it's double threaded. It was actually screwing it in so I was two and a half or three millimeter off so wow I am wondering right now if my speeds gonna increase because we just tuned this gun to shoot 860 feet per second okay after this right now we're gonna shoot it again and I want to see if the, the speed picked up and I went and shot um, through the chrono again. Uh, my target speed was 860 feet per second and I was shooting. Uh, my string was uh, 864, 867. So again, about between four and seven feet per second from that two millimeter. Okay, so <clears throat> again, it's worth the checking. It doesn't cost you anything. It takes um, maybe 10, 15 minutes. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Please stay subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video soon.